Howdy everybody and welcome back. Jed here with Scott Speed Shop and today we gotta we're not really working on any cars but we are gathering parts and by gathering parts I mean well there's a giant box over here from Rack Auto that's got a bunch of stuff for our Javelin and some very rare parts for the Javelin but we're working on getting parts for that 340 there that we're building with the W2 heads for our 70 duster over there and I needed pistons rods i've got a crank i need to get cam and lifters you know just the typical internal stuff i've got mostly everything on the outside so had a buddy who listed some stuff for sale and uh well i got a package today but we got some things on this package that uh well i ain't sure how to feel about it but let's just reintroduce anybody who might be watching this video for the first time or any of my channel the duster so this is my 1970 duster and we call it the 340 duster only because it's a real 340 duster however it has one major problem the engine in it is not a 340 it is a 360 it's a good running 360 we've done a lot of work to it fixed oil leaks got it running really good rebuilt the holly did a bunch of new fuel lines on it some new wiring <clears throat> and replace the uh, seats that were in it that I wasn't a huge fan of and put a factory bench seat back in it actually a 70 green bench that I had bought many years ago never planned on owning a 70 a body but I had the seat we did a whole new exhaust on it and we put tires on it of course the tires were just destroyed but uh, it's a good old car I use it to run errands right now and we had to do the floor pans in it. We pour 15 hole underside of it. It's a good running car. It's a lot of fun. I'm still not much of an A-body guy, but I always liked the way Duster's looked. There's old Jezebel waiting on her four speed. But anyway, so let's walk on in here and let's just take a peep at this package. First things first, it's a Pampers box. Hmm. Huh, yeah, that's kind of weird. Actually a nice box, it's got a little handle. That was pretty handy. I bet the uh, post office people like that. Now, here's the first thing I noticed, is uh, someone turned this baby into what's probably an amalgamation of a little bit of Jess Mopar Joe and me. Because, well, I got a beard, I wear sunglasses, and Joe's got this giant nest of hair on his head. And I've already told you now who sent me this, but here's where things start to get really weird, Joe. And don't mind me, I'm kind of channeling my Arkansas accent here. Uh, Joe, what's going on here? You know, if you, there's probably a better way to signal your love and admiration for me. Maybe not admiration, but you know, your love. There's probably another way. Everybody's got a bromance with me, I guess. Whew. I don't know. Joe. You're a little tall for my taste. I like them shorter than me. So, what do you say we stop being weird and we open this bad boy and see what old Just Mopar Joe sent us? Wait, can't do that yet. Because before I open this package, I gotta tell you guys something. So back in 2017, I was part of a giant barn find of like vintage Mopar stuff. Max Wedge race car. In fact, we featured the car, the Ken Fermenter orange Max Wedge car. Rescued it from, it just, it, it wasn't treated very well. I mean, at least it was stored inside, but there was a lot of cool cars there that didn't get stored inside. And the man was a hoarder. He had a bunch of cool stuff and I appreciate him for having all these parts and saving them, but some of this stuff could have been cared for better. Um, so we, we did that and that's actually when I first met Joe is he came to buy parts from us and he was a really cool dude then. And lo and behold, Fast forward, you know, four years, five years, four years. I don't know. I can't math today. And, uh, well, it's kind of neat. We're both doing YouTube. I don't know if he was doing YouTube then. I was kind of not much. I did a couple videos of the Jonesboro thing, but I was more focused on working because I lived literally in an RV for over a week down on this guy's property. He was dead and having to clean his stuff. And it took me like four days just to clear a path that I could walk like in a straight line because it was it was wall-to-wall -wall boxes and mostly boxes 
man, I collected cardboard. But Joe was super cool to meet, and it's kind of neat to come forward, and we're full circle, both doing YouTube videos, and here we are. Well, he's sending me stuff that's, uh, well, a little questionable. So, Joe, what did you send me? Either those are condoms for someone with a really stubby but wide member, or those are for an automatic transmission. If they're for an automatic transmission, away with you, demon spawn. We only do four speeds in this house. What in the world? What we got here? We have a very heavy box here that's open up with you open i demand now i remember buying a lot more parts than this i don't know how he fit it everything i bought in this shoe box or whatever it is oh it's a carburetor oh where's the rest of my parts joe where are the rest of my parts joe what are you doing where's everything else I just got a bunch of short wides and a carburetor. I like the carburetor though. So I guess before we can actually finish this bad boy off, we gotta wait for the rest of the parts for, from Joe to show up. And uh, well, I'm gonna probably hang that box up in my room just because that artwork is fantastic. Thank you, Joe. Now where's the rest of my stuff at? Well, daggone it, Joe. How come you had to send me another package? Alrighty guys and gals, we're back finally. The other package from Joe has finally arrived. It took like four days. No, over the weekend. It took a while. But no lovey dovey stuff on this one. I went ahead and untaped it. So, first thing out of the box. Oh god. I think we got some pulleys yes holy dang look at that deep son of a gun that's way deeper than i thought it was going to be wow i got any idea where that fits let me get out of here and we've got aha a two groove crank pulley let's just let's just uh, see here is that the one i needed yeah it's a little short a little short but <clears throat> still a two group crank pulley and this one is the three groover i wanted this is the same three groove pulley i cut that's on isabelle's engine well my buddy dave cut sweet so those are pulleys obviously now 89 all righty knife away yeah, don't, don't, don't. Uh, I can already hear my mother now in the comments. You're going to cut yourself, or I can hear Dad. You're going to cut yourself. You're going to spill the beans everywhere. Yep. That's just part of living. A little blood loss ain't no big deal. What do we got inside of here? Well, I know what's in here, what should be in here, because I know what I bought from Joe. Aha! Pistons, 30 over, 340 TRW forged pistons. They're not as heavy as I thought they were going to be. I thought those were going to be much heavier. Sweet. Well, thank you, Joe. That's one less piece to the puzzle for that 340. So now that Joe has supplied us with our 30 over 340 pistons for the 340, now we just need to come across a set of connecting rods. Yeah, I only got one piston out because <laughs> we're going to make a one cylinder 340. So, anybody out there in the YouTube land has a set of floating pin 340 style connecting rods. No press fit crap here because these are for a floating pin. Uh, let me know. I'll buy them off of you. That's the last piece we need besides getting cam and lifters and all that stuff. And I'm still debating whether or not we're going to go roller or not. But whatever we do, it's going to be solid no matter what and i don't want nothing from comp cams obviously i don't trust them in any way never have never will 
So, looking for Lunati, Crane, any of the other companies, Hughes. I should probably just call Hughes. I'll just buy from Hughes. But if anybody's got anything, let me know in the comments. We'll get connected. My email is in the description below also, like every video, and you can check it out there. So, thank you again to Joe. And if you guys haven't ever checked out Just Mopar Joe on YouTube, you really should. If you're really big into budget builds and some really cool racing and all that kind of stuff, he's a really nice guy. Got a lot of information in his noggin. He has a rat, a pet rat that's always on his head in the videos. So, that's pretty cool. I mean... I don't have a pet rat. I just have a bald spot from cancer, you know? I wish I could have a pet rat on my head. But I'm just saying, go check out Just Mopar Joe. I mean, he was kind enough to sell me some stuff for my 340. And I think he's a super cool dude. Perfect time to be like, go check out Joe. And tell him I sent you if you go check him out if you're not already subscribed. And uh, I know you guys will enjoy it. So, that's going to about button this one up. As always, guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. So, take care. Bye-bye.